now we have already seen how to insert the data inside the database now whatever data i'm having inside the database like this name email mobile photo how many data i'm having here i just want to get the count of this one so that whenever i fetch this data from the database okay only that data should be displayed in my website okay now here if you see here in this demo four data is been displayed and next i'm having this pagination and this fifth data is displayed here okay so for that we should get the count how many data are present inside the database and this image whatever you can see here that will be uploaded inside this uploads folder okay totally i'm having three images and these three images will be stored here okay inside this uploads folder and we have already seen how to create function for this one okay and inside this inside user.php we have already created the function for that one let me just come here okay for upload photo okay when you write this function and when you call this function the photo is going to upload and use inside this upload folder the photo will be uploaded okay now let me just come to script.js okay now here i'm just going to write the function to get the users i'll just write one comment get users function below this i'm just going to create that one let me just write here function and inside this i'm just going to give my function name as get users okay get users count basically and using this function i'll be fetching the data as well now inside this function first i'm just going to write this ajax let me just write this ajax okay this you have to write because we are using ajax and inside this ajax i'm just going to pass this basic thing i'll just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste first i'm just passing this url whenever this function is called i should be redirected to php advanced ajax dot php file type let it be get here okay because we are going to get the information from the url so i'm just writing here get okay instead of post i'm just writing here get and data type will be json next in the same way here i'm just going to come i'll copy this before send and here i'll be pasting that one again in the same way i'm just going to copy this success and here i'm going to paste and from success i'm just going to remove this entire thing and instead of this let me just write here row and inside console console.log and inside this i'll just pass here row okay whenever i get the response i just want to display the row then below this success okay in the same way i just have to copy this i'll just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste okay you can just refer this one whatever we have done previously we are doing the same thing again you don't have to type the entire thing you just have to copy and paste okay here i have just created one function get users and inside this ajax i have just passed this url type is get data type is json before sending or before getting the data from the database i just want to wait for some time so here i'm just writing this one then here i'm having this success and inside this error if i get some error this will be displayed okay this error will be displayed here i'll just close this one now i should be getting the data okay i should be getting the page number like here for pagination this is the first page okay this is the second page and this is the first page so for that i should be getting the page number so here inside this index.php below this nav i'm just going to create one input field let me just write here input field Okay, it's not working let me just type that one i'll be writing here input and type i am just going to give here hidden because i don't want this should be visible so here i'll be giving hidden value i'm just going to give here one by default the first page should be displayed so here i'm just giving value and name let me just give here current page okay you can give any name and also i'm just going to give the id id i'm just going to pass the same thing i'll copy i'll paste i'll just close this input field okay this is how i'm just going to create input field below this pagination okay below this nav i'm just creating this input field okay for this i have just given the name and id as current page and value i have given as one because by default i just want to display the first page whenever i fetch the data if i am having only one data this data should be displayed in the first page so i am just giving the default value as one let me just come to script.js now here inside this ajax okay here if you see here we have just formed the data and inside this we are just collecting the new form data okay whatever form we are entering whatever values we are entering inside the form that form data we are just getting from here okay now inside this we want the page number so below this in this data we are just going to pass the page number here let me just write here page and page number i'm just going to create okay this value i'll be creating now and action let me just give the action as get all users okay you can give any action here and you have to close in single quotes or double quotes 
i'll just separate this with comma okay this is how we are going to create now this page number now this page number whatever i have passed i'm just going to create here i'm just going to write here page number and inside this i just have to access the id number whatever i have created just now inside index.php i have just created this one okay this id i have to access and here inside this i'm just going to write that id current page dot value okay whatever value i'm having inside that i'm just accessing that one now if i am in second page the second value will be accessed here and that will be passed inside this page okay inside this page the second will be passed if i am having three then three will be passed here okay now here i have passed the action here action is equal to get all users Okay, this is how we are going to pass the action now action we have given here but for this inserting the data inside the database we have not passed any action because inside form.php we have created this input fields and inside this input field we have given this action okay so from here we have just taken this one and we have performed the input and we have performed the inserting the data inside the database but for this one we are just giving the action here okay get all users now once i get this action i just have to come to ajax.php i'll just come to ajax.php now below this wherever our function is ending okay add user function wherever it is ending it is ending here okay so here i'm just going to minimize this now here below this let me just write here get count of function and here i'll just uh, i'll just copy this one from script.js i'm just going to copy this action and here inside ajax.php i'm just going to paste that one get count of function and getting all users and get all users action let me just close all the files now here i'm just going to write the same thing if my action if my action is equal to equal to this one okay get all users then i'll be coming inside this if loop and i'm going to perform all the things now first i'm just going to check whether my page number is empty or not or whether i'm having separate page number so here i'm just going to write here one variable i'm just going to create page and inside this first i'm just going to check the condition if empty and using get method we have to access because inside the type we have passed the get now inside this i just have to get the page number okay let me just show you again inside the script.js i have passed the type as get and this page number i have to access okay whatever page number i'll be getting from here that will be stored inside this one and using this get method i'm just accessing that one okay that page number okay if it is not empty then i want this then i just want this page number let me just copy the same thing and here i'm just going to paste okay whatever current page i'm having i'm just getting that one if it is not empty else okay if it is empty then by default i just want to display the first page okay you have to write like this i'm just creating one variable page and inside this i have just i'm just checking the condition if my page number is not empty then i should be getting the current okay whatever page number i'm having like third second fourth like that if it is empty then by default i should be getting the first page now we have to find the total number of records okay so for that we have already seen for pagination we have already given the limit and start let me just show you inside this user.php here i have already given inside this get rows i have already given this start and limit now we are going to use this function and using this we are going to get the count and also we will be fetching only four records in the first page then four records in the second page okay so for that we should be knowing the limit and the start let me just copy the same thing from here and here inside ajax.php i'm just going to paste my start value i'm just going to remove limit is nothing but 4 okay you can give any limit based on your requirement like 10 20 okay whatever requirement you need in your project you can give the limit okay now i'm just going to give the start value i'll be telling you how you have to give the start value inside this i'm just going to give here page minus 1 into limit let me just explain you this one okay now suppose i got the page number as 3 okay now my page number is 3 let me just write here now my page number is 3 and limit is 4 okay so my start value will be start value is page number minus 1 okay so 3 minus 1 will be 2 2 into 4 2 into 4 is nothing but 8 okay so inside this okay my start value will not sorry 2 into 4 will be 8 now my start value i got as 8 which means that from 8 9 8 9 10 and 11 okay this records will be displayed in the third page inside this third page these many records will be displayed 
let me just comment this one now again i'll just tell you now if i just now my page number is 2 and my limit value is 4 now here 2 minus 1 i'll be getting 1 and 1 into 4 i'll be getting 4 which means that i'll be getting the records from 4 5 6 and 7 okay totally this records i'll be getting okay inside this page number 2 i'll be getting this record so which means that inside page number 1 0 1 2 and 3 will be displayed inside page number 2 4 5 6 7 will be displayed inside page number 3 8 9 10 11 will be displayed okay this is how we have to get the start value so for that we are just writing this one okay even you have to write like that now once we are done with this okay creating starting and ending limit now i have to call this get rows function okay which we have already created inside this users.php now i have to call this function i'll just copy this function and below this i'm just going to create one variable users and inside this i'm just going to pass that function let me just write here function this function i'm just going to paste and inside this i just have to pass this two parameters first is my start limit i'll copy this one i'll paste it here and next is my end limit i'll just copy this and here i'm just going to paste okay this is how we are going to call get rows function and this get rows function we have already seen how to do okay now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to check whether the user entered is empty or not now here i'm just going to write the condition if empty and inside this i'm just going to pass this one okay after getting this whatever data i'm having i'm just going to paste that one okay why i am checking this because inside user.php here you can see it is returning me empty array if my row count is not greater than zero okay it is going to return me empty array so here i'm just taking that if it is not empty if i'm having some data inside the database only then i have to come inside this if loop and here i'm just going to create one variable user list and inside this i'm just going to pass this one i'll just copy this one okay because inside this variables okay for using this function i'll be getting all the data and that data will be stored inside this one so here i'm just checking that if it is not empty i'm just storing all the variables inside this one okay all the values inside this variables else okay else if it is empty then i just have to return the empty array okay how we have returned the empty result so here in the same way i just have to return the empty array okay now suppose inside this user.php if this condition fails okay if this condition fails i'll be returning here because i don't have any data i will be returning here so inside ajax.php now here the data is empty i don't have any data inside the database so it is not going to fetch any data so it will be returning me this empty array okay so we have to write like this then next finally okay this whatever result if you are getting suppose this result i am getting now this result will be in the array format but we have to convert into json format because we have given the data type as json now below this else condition i'm just going to write this echo using this json encode i'm just going to convert that data whatever i am getting from here okay if, if i'm getting the result from here i'm just going to convert that data into json format then i have to exit this okay only then we will be getting the output okay now i have to get the count once i fetch the rows whatever data i'm having inside the database now finally i have to get the count so for that we have already created count function inside this script.js let me just come here okay not here inside this user.php we have already created this get count and using this we are getting the count okay how many datas are present inside the database we are getting that count okay so for that okay below this else condition i'm just going to create one variable total and inside this i'm just going to call that function okay to call this function i'm just going to write here obj and inside this i'm just going to call this get count function i'll copy this one and here i'm going to paste that one okay now if i just want to display the data whatever i am getting so here i'm just going to create one user array okay and inside this first i'm just going to pass this count okay whatever count i am having okay this is the name and for value i'm just going to pass this total okay whatever total i am getting from here i'm just going to pass that one next i'm just going to separate and whatever data i am getting let me just write here users okay this data whatever i am getting from here i'm just passing this as name and inside this value okay the, all the values will be stored inside this variable okay here i have stored that variable i'll copy this one and here i'm just going to paste that one i'll save this okay this is how we are going to get the count let me just come here i'll refresh this one before that let me just inspect this now inside console you can see i don't have any output okay i, I am not getting any count okay whatever i am having i don't have any count inside this one because 
here i have just created the function inside script.js i have just created this users get users function i have not called this function unless and until i don't call this function i will not be getting any result so i have to call this function i'm just going to copy this and here below this function ends okay now this function is ending here so below this i'm just going to write one comment uh, calling function calling get user function below this i'm just going to call that one i'll save this okay as soon as my document is getting loaded i'm just calling that function i'll come here i'll refresh this one now you can see as soon as i refreshed first i'm getting wait data is loading okay because i have given inside this before i have just passed this one okay once i'm getting this response whatever i have printed here that will be printed to me and count is nothing but three you can see whatever data i'm having inside the database that is been displayed to me and the count is nothing but three now if i just enter another data here let me just enter uh, sita here i'll be writing sita at gmail.com let me add one mobile number i'll just select one photo now from here let me just select this one open i'll click on submit okay now you can see i'm getting this fourth data but here the count is still three because my document is still not loaded and this response i'm getting from here okay inside insert.php we have already given this response so i'm just getting that fourth response here but this i'm still getting three here but inside my database if i just refresh this one let me just refresh this okay it's loading now you can see inside my database i'm having four records but here i'm still i'm getting the count as three but here i'm getting this response whatever data i have inserted now once i load this one you can see now here i'll be getting this fourth okay four totally four count i'm having okay whatever data i'm having inside the database that is been fetched here and that is been displayed to me okay this is how even you are going to perform all these actions if you follow this one without skipping any part then you will be getting this response without any error okay now we are done with this now next we are going to see how to display the data and how to perform pagination everything we are going to see one by one